going on, people? Welcome back to another edition of Gen Sports Corner back at for June 29th, 2023. It's been a little minute, but, you know, I'm getting the, the new spot up and running. But, you know, it's time to get back to business. A lot of big things happening in Philadelphia sports as well as in the boxing world. So I'm going to talk about all those things. Before I get into it, make sure you go to the YouTube channel, Gen Music 856. Like the channel, subscribe, click the notification bell so you know every time I drop a video. As you can see, the mic is back. Ain't going nowhere, and yay, hey, all black. We, we we at it, man. So let's go ahead and talk about the Sixers, man. Big news just happened this week. James Harden picked up his option, his player option for this year. And I know you guys, some of you guys may be thinking, hey, you know, I guess he's gonna be back next year. Not so quick. James Harden opts in to his player uh, option for thirty-five point six million, as reported by Adrian Wojnarowski. Uh, via ESPN, but it's in order for both sides to work on exploring trade scenarios and two teams that are popping up and they don't include the Rockets right now are the LA Clippers and the New York Knicks and they're looking like they have high interest in acquiring James Harden so we'll see what happens there uh, you know last year we, we all know what happened in the playoffs they got bounced out yet again that led to Doc's departure and, and it, look Let's look at the stats here, okay? Let's just go right down the list. James Harden, about to turn 34 in August, made his 10th All-Star team last year. He finished with 21 points, 6.1 rebounds, and 10.7 assists per game. Really, really strong season. And look, he led the NBA in assists, and most of them went to Joel Embiid. In fact, him and Embiid became the first teammates to lead the league in scoring and assists in the same season since Johnny Moore and George Gervin, Gervin um, with the Spurs 40 years ago. So they did a lot of great things. And even so, it was not enough. You know, some of the lack of depth on the bench, some of the late game blunders where they weren't able to execute turnovers in key moments. They fell flat in game six and seven. They looked like they didn't even show up, right? So if that's the best, I mean, that's really the best you can do. And it still wasn't enough. Look, they got a new head coach and a nurse, and now they're getting ready to clean house. And I'm going to segue into the Flyers from the Sixers, but you're seeing, I think, uh, the same process at different levels, no pun intended, with the Flyers and the Sixers, where they're doing a rebuild. The Flyers are completely tearing it down, and the Sixers are starting to tear down certain pieces so they can rebuild around and be. Uh, excuse the uh, fire trucks in the background, you know. I didn't want to do that all day, but only when I want to record a video. You know, go figure. But you know what? It's a state of emergency, so it's, it's kind of fitting that I had the fire alarms in the background. You, you know, so, you know, the Sixers, they're, they're looking to, to deal James Harden and put another piece around Joel Embiid. We don't know what that piece is going to be, but it's yet to be seen, all right? So you saw Ben Simmons, Seth Curry, Andre Drummond leave out 18 months ago in the deal with the Nets for James Harden. And then a year and a half later, James Harden is probably on his way out. So the experiment didn't work from what I can surmise. But we'll, we'll see what they're going to do with Joel Embiid because I think they have a good two, three year window with him if they're going to keep him in order to build around him and try to get a championship. Other than that, they're going to have to cross that bridge when they get there if they don't win and then see what they're gonna do moving on forward or without Embiid. So let me know what you guys think about the Sixers and, and the news with James Harden. It's, it's obvious that he's probably on his way out, but it's just not necessarily to where we thought it would be. I think that, and there's been speculation that the Rockets were not really in a serious running to get James Harden. And he, you know, it makes sense obviously because the history is there, but I don't think that they're really in the running to acquire James Harden. The Clippers would make sense and you know it would make sense if the Sixers wanted to trade for a Paul George, okay? Paul George being up and down. However, and I know people might criticize that move. Look, if he can stay healthy, he brings you the scoring and he brings you the defense that James Harden was never going to bring you, okay? James Harden, as prolific of a scorer as he was, he was starting to have trouble finishing last year in the playoffs as alluded to by Doc. And we all saw it. When he would get to the rim, he couldn't finish with the layups and the, the easy scores that he was getting earlier in his career when he was prime James Harden. And that's 
really a big part of his game because if he's not finishing, driving to the basket, and just being an absolute menace at the rim, then the step back as polished and good as it is, is not nearly as effective when you don't have to worry about him cutting to the basket and just getting it easy too. And I, truth be told, people don't think about this. That's what makes Steph Curry so lethal. Not the three-point shooting. Obviously, he's one of the best of all time, if not the best of all time, shooting the three-point shot. However, it's the fact that from time to time, he'll get you out, out of position and then drive to the basket, get a nice scoop layup, and you have to pick your poison. That's what really opens up these different levels of, of punishment they can inflict on you offensively when they have that many options to go to. So once that's starting to go a little bit with James or, or regress in certain areas, in particular finishing at the rim, then you have to see that the writing may be on, on the wall. So let me know what you guys think about that. You know, is James Harden headed to the Clippers? Is he headed out somewhere else? Let me know what you guys think about that.